What's going on guys? Just wanted to hop in and share with you a quick little tip that I just recently discovered in Ableton Live 11. And this is actually a new feature. So I don't know how many people know about this yet or have been using it, but it works really well on vocals, especially rap vocals, uh, to get more of a doubled sound out of your vocal without actually having to record two vocals. So it's a bit of a hack. Uh, it's a bit of a cheat, but it works. So what the hell? I'm going to show you guys right now. And it's in the phaser flanger uh, audio effect, which is a new audio effect that they included in Ableton 11. And it comes with three settings, phaser, flanger, doubler. And we're going to focus on the doubler, uh, but I'll walk through each one just so you know what it sounds like. Ableton doubler, you know what the fuck is up, brother. And as it says here in the side panel, the phaser adds phase shifted signals, creating uh, wandering notch filters. Uh, just like any other phaser would. Uh, the flanger is creating time-modulated delayed signals with feedback for a continuously changing comb filter effect. Uh, typical flanger stuff there, nothing special. And with your doubler here, uh, which is what we're going to be focusing on, uh, this is adding time-modulated delayed signals, creating the effect of doubled tracks. So it's basically uh, what I believe is going on. It's splitting up your mono vocal into two different signals, and it's modulating the pitch over time of one of those so that you're getting the effect of two different vocals happening at once because that's what would naturally happen if you were to record two of the same vocal over top of each other. The natural nuances of each vocal are what cause them to sound great when they're paired together. So it's just mimicking that natural effect. So play it all by itself without tweaking anything. Ableton Double, you know what the fuck is up, bro. Already sounding really cool. Uh, and the only tweak that I make, uh, aside from messing with the rate a little bit, is just messing with this time. So bringing the time down so it's more of a slap double. Ableton double you know what the fuck is up, bruh. Ableton double you know what the fuck is up, bruh. Like, that sounds just like a, your typical double that you would get by going the long way. Um, only other thing I would tweak would be this rate so maybe switching to hertz and experimenting a little bit ableton double it you know what the fuck is up bruh ableton double it you know what the fuck is up bruh ableton double it you know what the fuck is up bruh and yeah that's about all i would touch if i was going for that standard double effect uh if you're going for more crazy sound design type of stuff mess with the feedback ableton double it you know what the fuck is up bruh ableton double it you know I mean, that's going to provide some crazy stuff. Ableton double it, you know what the fuck is up, bro. And, um, this warmth is also pretty cool. Um, just to add a little bit of extra saturation on top of it. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Cool little hidden feature that is included in Live 11 for you to mess with. So, if I left anything out, let me know in the comments and enlighten us. But, if not, just let me know what you thought. And we will talk very soon, all right? I will see you guys in the next one.